today has been fucking miserable. Um, I said I would show you more of Munich, but then I realized that I was actually right at the edge of all the exciting Munich stuff, and there was actually nothing else left after that. So I kept on going, and I noticed last night that I had a bit of a sore cheek, but I thought maybe it was just because I'd bumped, bumped on something. And then today, after I did that other little bit of the video, um, I realized that it was getting worse and worse, and I'm pretty sure pretty sure that I've got a wisdom tooth coming in which is like this is the perfect fucking time it's like a dull pain it feels like my throat's sore when I swallow but it's just all in my jaw right here and then it's been threatening rain the entire day and it keeps on raining like a little bit and just enough to make you stop and get comfortable stopped and then it stops raining so you've got to get up and move again and now it's finally hit hard enough that you can hear the thunder is about a kilometer away. It's like 336 meters a second is the speed of sound. So if every second after you hear thunder, it's over three seconds, so there goes another one. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Yeah, I can hear it already. So it's a kilometer away. It's a bit more of a chill, I think, because I'm getting close to the Swiss Alps. So there's also, uh, like, I just crossed the river before, it was all foggy and kind of glacial water. I don't see this day ending particularly in any particularly fun way. Or at least until this rain stops, but I don't know if it's meant to stop is the problem. So yeah, I guess I'm stuck here. This is gonna be shit to get out of. Oh, and because of the, the whole wisdom tooth thing, uh, it's really, really painful to eat as well as swallow, so. I'm gonna have to like change my diet a little bit. I suppose I'm gonna be eating bananas and things as opposed to pretzels, which I'm, I've grown quite fond of. I'm just gonna wait for another big clap of uh, thunder and lightning. Oh, here comes one. Three. It's gonna be a really fucking annoying night because it rained and it got bitter, it got really, really sunny. But everywhere that I can camp, which is like, oh, not, not, everywhere that I usually camp, like in a forest, it's just gonna be, even though it's sunny now and like all the roads and stuff out there are dry, is that the, the trees maintain quite a bit of the water and they, it just keeps on dripping. So it's like it's almost kind of still raining in, in here at the moment. I'm hoping it's gonna stop a little bit before I actually set up the tent. Um, I'm actually right next to a footpath which is a really obvious and bad place to stealth camp, but it's like, it's like quarter to nine, so I'm not really expecting anyone to be here. I will wait until about half past nine, and then at that point I set my tent up, um, get an alarm set for six o'clock tomorrow morning, and get the fuck out before anyone else comes down, if hopefully no one comes down here before six. It's kind of a ridiculous time to be here on a Wednesday, but it doesn't really seem like it's a. It should be. It should have much thoroughfare. It's not really in the way of the town. It's kind of. I'm just outside of the town at the moment, and there's nothing on the other end of the path that I can see. It's just a waiting game from now. So this might seem a little bit silly, and it might look like maybe I'm just settling in for the night. But uh, couldn't be further from the truth is that I'm actually settling in for the second night without even having taken the tent down. I woke up this morning at 6.30 and then I napped until 7.30 and then 8.30. And last time I checked my phone, which was a little while ago, it was 7.30 p.m. So I've just been sitting in the tent all day because it's been raining and I've been too lazy to get up. And I'm just, I've, I've read, read a couple of books. <laughs> a little bit dangerous, I suppose, being in what was such a public location or what seemed like such a public location. And then, um, just staying there for 24 hours or well, by the time I get up tomorrow morning if it's if I'm not feeling too lazy again it would have been some 30 something hours but it's been a good day just to read books I suppose <laughs> it's been a cheap day at least I haven't spent any money on food or anything I've been to the toilet once hopefully no one saw me my jaw still hurts like fuck I think maybe probably yesterday was the first like really kind of miserable day that I've had so then today it was just like why do I even want to fucking get up I can get caught who cares it's a really bad attitude to have because if I get caught 
sitting there here, I could be in a bit of trouble. Some people walked past and I heard them say something and I poked my head out and he said, no, you stay, you stay. So I don't know if they even live here or if they're just going for a, a walk on a rainy day in a miserable forest, but they seem to run with it. I'm doing this all wrong. Other cycle tourists who are stealth camped are gonna hate me. Or anyone who's stealth camped will hate me right now. But I'm really enjoying these books. <sighs> and if I don't make moves today, where it is again raining. It actually stopped raining a little bit last night. And I could have made my move then, but I think I just need to get up and go at some point. Get my, get my jacket on, hopefully, don't get any any rashes like I did during the last rain. It's 8.30 and I've just had someone else walk past so I think I should probably get a hustle on. Um, I'm on the road. In the rain again. Fuck I hate the rain. I bet the view of the Alps would be great if the weather wasn't so shit. Uh, it's gotten better though. So it's still the same day as the day that I woke up and it was raining on my tent and I went and sat at a bakery for three hours and charge my phone and my fucking phone wouldn't charge because it said that it was damp because there was too much moisture in it and I had to hold it under my armpit for an hour before before it would even start charging again and then while I was sitting there waiting for it to get fucking dry I found another tick crawling up my leg and then I flick him away I kill him and then I found another tick buried into my hand so I had to kill him as well I had to pull him out and kill him too but at least the sun's come out so it's looking slightly up it's meant to get better tomorrow according to a stranger in, um, in the bakery and I'm feeling a little bit rejuvenated. I probably won't by the end of the day, but I mean, like, it's good to have a brain blast every every couple of days or every every few weeks or so. It's just that I'm still on kind of the I'm on the north side of the lake. I don't know what the lake's called. The north side of this lake that I'm putting up on the screen here, um, and there's no better pee. And the imagined scenery is lovely, but I'm not getting much from the reality of everything. So, oh well. So I took a wrong turn on the way to Salzburg, which is all good because I've ended up in this awesome fucking open area and there's no cars and it's just super quiet and there's lots of downhills from where I am now. I think I've been climbing up hills, oh, I've been walking up hills because the hills around here are fucking terrible. But the downhills are really, really fun. And I've discovered that I'm a little bit closer to the north face of the Alps, north face of the Swiss Alps than I thought that I was. So it's a nice little sight for you there. Um, Hello! <laughs> I've booked a hostel for three nights in Austria in about seven days time, so I, sorry in Vienna in seven days time, so I should be able to make it there by then. Although I'm cutting out a little bit fine today getting to Salzburg, I don't think I actually will get to Salzburg, I'll probably fall asleep before I get there. But yeah, just as I was getting going today after the cafe adventures, I was like, oh, perfect time to stop and dry off my stuff, which is useful to dry out your shit. Like, you've got to get it dry. You can't have wet tents in your bags, or in my case, I had a tent sitting on top of my bag. But um, after I got all my stuff dried out and I got on the road again, uh, I, I got puffed again and it started getting harder and harder. So yeah, I've left today. I mean, I haven't left today really late. The rain left today really late. So fuck you, rain. It is awful, awful nice up here, but I've got 25 kilometers to go, and it is. I actually it's almost seven o'clock. That, that's fucking easy as. It's easy as balls. The map doesn't really agree with me though. The map makes it look really difficult. So yeah, I've got Austria. I've got Vienna <laughs> booked in a week's time. Salzburg by today. Two days to Linz, and then I'm thinking three or four days to get to Vienna which uh, my hostel isn't booked for another day after that but if I go, like if I do it fast enough then I can just kind of camp out outside of the grounds until uh, my hostel is ready to go or if I don't make it in time then I don't make it in time and I still get two more nights at the hostel after that but looking forward to actually being able to see see the cities I think um, after, after having so much fun in Munich I kind of want to stop off in the major places and meet, um, meet a few people because it gets a little bit lonely out on the road as much as I have you here to to talk to. Uh, still just talking to myself, isn't it? Also, the bugs up here are ridiculous. I'm pretty sure I've absorbed probably four bugs in through my eyeballs where they fly in and they just disappear and I don't get them out. They just evaporate into my eye. I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe it's like it's like another Spider-Man or something. Except we just get bug eyes or some shit. I don't know. Time to make a move. Here we go.